Today, I got a jam-packed 100 tips and tricks guide for all you Fortnite players that want to get into Fortnite 2. Maybe you haven't tried it yet. Maybe you have played it for a bit. Regardless, there's something in here that you probably did not know. If you did learn something, leave a like. If you found something that I didn't include, leave a comment and I'll heart that comment so other people can see it. So share your tips too. Let's get into it. This is going to be fast. The campfire effect stacks. That means if you place down two, you will get double the amount of healing over time. And if you have nothing else to use, that might just be your only play, even though I just lost it here. Rest in peace. The boogie bomb lasts for exactly five seconds, and it's only interrupted by damage. As much as one damage will interrupt the effect. Pumps are only world spawns. They do not come in chests. Running with your weapon out allows you to see if a tree has been hit as you're moving towards it, like that. We can see, alright, it's a 50 HP tree. We can't see with a pickaxe, so... Unless you're in the harvest range. There's a total of 3 llamas spawning in every single match. No more, no less. Looting with your pickaxe out allows you to vacuum up everything a lot quicker than accidentally dropping your own weapon. Pads can be placed on ramps too. This is very useful for getting down on mountains and just getting a boost somewhere. Quick way to gain cover is using a roof to just block you out. Like if you just want some healing, whatever. You can do this too instead of a one by one. Quarter Ford builds like metal. It takes a long ass time, so one swing with a pickaxe and you're right through it. There you go. Bam. These supersized rocks, for some reason, just suck. They give very little amounts of uh brick. It's weird. These medium ones are good, but the huge ones, I don't know. Leave them, I guess. A small trick as you're building up towards a place, just do a floor and then keep on going with ramps. Place that trap there and sometimes, very often actually, people will die from it. Especially now that they deal 150 damage. I mean, just look at this idiot. When you pop your port port and jump up, always build a floor so people can't use it. This is very important and probably one of the things that you really want to use. Editing while camping. Sit up in your... My house and then spot out As you see i see this guy and then whoa, it's just very very good a quick counter when players pull out a rocket launcher close range is as soon as you see it you just build up a wall now this was pretty lucky but you get the deal shooting the rocket through a window allows you to take no damage if you're on the other side there's no need to jump when you place down a jump pad or anything just freaking build back up and as you walk over it slam it down it's safer too because you might accidentally jump over the ramp and fall down and die. Leaving a random strap behind in places can sometimes grant you a freebie. You get many freebies from just random traps. Just like this guy. Good night. Wood is stronger. Like you place two down, it goes up way quicker. As you see here, 190, still ticking on the middle, still going. The wood can take a shotgun shot, the middle cannot. If you place it down, bam, it's gone. A wooden though. Not a problem. Ghost peeking is probably one of the most freaking annoying things to go up against. Simply up and down as you shoot. Go up, shoot, down again. You can do it with an AR too, but it's the best to do with a hunting rifle, in my opinion. Double bolt action gives you action. It's pretty cool. Now what you want to do is not continuously hold down the right key, then it's that slow, but let go and click it again. Like that. So as you take your first shot, let go quickly and click it down again with the right click. After using a jump pad, you take no fall damage. No matter how long you're in the air, use this quickly to bail on your fights or get down from a tower. One of the most overpowered trap bases, I don't know if it's overpowered or not, but you build up, play a goodie, destroy it again, don't edit it, get it out of here, and then place as you're down there little ramp or whatever just so you can have your face up there we probably didn't need a ramp here but place down the floor and you'll be completely invisible while people fall through it and die to the traps these huts have small cracks that you can shoot through just like that now you know hit the llamas with your pickaxe it takes five times and is faster than pressing e it's also safer the difference between a good builder and a nutty builder is a builder that's nuts when it comes to editing. Take a look at this guy named Nick A30. He's mainly known in Fortnite for his insane editing. Like his speed is just unreal. Editing will make you a fantastic player. Look at this. He shoots down the floor, takes it, edits, back up, edits, and back up. This 
is when you know you're a freaking nut. If you know where the enemy opponent is, cook the minigun as you drop into their face. Peeking right side is a lot better. Because of the camp position, you see the other opponent before he sees you. If he peeks from this angle, he's gonna see you later than you're peeking from this one. With the very big trees, harvest them down to 50 HP and just leave them be. You're very easily spotted in the distance if the big trees go down. Just chop these suckers all the way down. They give such a little amount of wood anyway. It was already pretty strong before the buff, but now the C4 is freaking nuts. It's a great tool to just take down an entire house or a one by one in the end game. Just, just, just look at this. Bam, people dying left and right, man. It's crazy. I love it. It's the lowest point of the map. If you jump early, sometimes going over the sea will gain you that edge on other players. So simply slide out and then get the lowest point of the map. Buildings and trees have smaller circles on them. Hitting them will do double the harvest and get you going faster. This counts for everything in the game. It's not a legendary. Just don't use the bush. Unless you're planning to troll, then it's okay. You can reach any destination on the map jumping out of the battle bus. You're not limited to a small area, you can just reach anything you want. It's the safest place to farm early game. Inside a house, especially if you're in Tilted Towers, you get a lot of wood from just harvesting furniture. So just smack it down as you're looting your first house. Using the roof as a backup ramp can save you two clicks if you need to switch fast between forward and backwards ramp. This can also help new players avoid the confusion of forgetting to reset the ramp position. Now this is a preference thing if you like it or not, but it's a way to play. The pawn shop and tilted towers have a hidden basement. Just follow right through here, hit these crates, and bam, down here you can find one to two chests and get a good start going. There's another hidden chest here in tilted towers, just right here, smack it down. And there you go. Boosting towards an edge and then switching seats allows you to kick back and enjoy the ride. If you're solo in a shopping cart, you can even build ramps and whatnot if you want to. Don't be greedy. Use the extra resources to block it in and then loot it up. Now this guy was a bit greedy. One wall. And that took him some extra damage. So just block it in, loot it up, and then get going. Now let's witness this guy die. Just because, uh, there you go. Swapping at the perfect time allows you to fire at a faster rate. However, having a tactical as a second allows you to get the second shot off even faster. I will say my personal preference right now is double heavy when it comes to shotguns. They're just nutty. Always sit in cover while healing. A simple one by one will do the job. The amount of times I've died to not like building up a wall. Stupid man. Takes no time and there you go. A lot of players ask how do I improve my shooting? Just land high populated areas, get your ass beat a couple of thousand times, learn and improve. Landing far away and avoiding fights will not get you to become a better player. Also, the blitz mode is a good way to get fast paced combat. Save your money, man. Don't waste them on tears. You'll get there eventually. Unless you want to create content on them, sure, do some clickbait shit. But nah, man, save, save your money. From weak to strongest, it goes gray, green, blue, purple, and then orange as the legendary. Holding your building key down while building activates turbo building. This is extremely fast and yeah, it's just a joy to use, man. Yay. This one is important. Always disrespect. There you go. That's annoying. What a bitch. Jumping in water allows you to cross it faster. However, build if you have the materials to spare. And just overall, just don't be in water, man. That's, that's the tip. Apples grant you 5 hit points while mushrooms give you 5 shield. They're a very cool new addition to the game and just a good way to get up to full shield or full HP. Don't be fooled by the man. Some players like to flop on their default skin even though they've spent countless of money on the game. The way to spot one is if when you attack them do they build right away. It's not a true default. They do this, they're a default. Hop rocks last for 30 seconds and makes you a gravity defying killing machine. Gliding through the air is a bit faster than running. If you're in a hurry, then use that. But the jetpack is probably removed from the game by now if it comes back. There's another tip. There's a little hidden basement with two to three chests in the blue house here in Salty Springs. Follow the stairs down to the basement here. Yabba -da -ba -da. And then beneath this floor, you'll find another set of stairs. Down here is where the grease is at. One chest here and then sometimes a chest over here. Building a roof on top of your floors adds an extra layers for players to spray through if you're in trouble. This is a very good thing to do, because as you see here, 
as the enemy opponent is shooting down. As he breaks the first one, you can easily place another one. If you don't use your F key for anything, I suggest you rebind your edit key from G to F. And here's an image that shows all the wall editing, the most important ones that you can do in the game. The scar is superior when it comes to first shot accuracy, it resets so quickly. The FAMAS, however, is very good as a follow-up to a shotgun or if you're just lucky enough to land those three in a row, man. It's a nutty too. Don't celebrate too soon. Karma might just come and be a bitch. In any fight, the player on top will have the advantage on you. Getting high ground and keeping it is crucial, but building too high without a solid foundation can get dangerous too. But high ground is freaking delish, man. Try to get it and keep it. You can bait the edit. Now, if they have a pen and paper out, you're gonna have the first shot. It's just how it is. If you fall down, build a ramp to not take as much fall damage or any at all. Using third person is a good way to get information around corners. Just look around as you're not doing anything and maybe you'll get some info. Drop from any height, as long as you drop on the tires, you do not take any fall damage at all. Moisty Mire is a very good place to get capped quickly on wood. There's a ton of trees to harvest down here and decent loot too. Try to always reset your ramp after a fight. Way too often I've gotten into a situation where it didn't do it and I got completely confused going into a fight. Just once every late game look up see if there's a sky base. You never know if there's a noob up there. If you're like me and can't remember what you have for breakfast, peek down at your weapon slots multiple times during the match so you don't mess up like this and think you have two shotguns. See? Uh-uh. Don't fly. Refund system is back. Just head on into your profile, submit a request, choose the item. Maybe the item wasn't as you expected. You get three of these in total. After that, you're done. One of the first, no, no, no. The first thing you want to change when playing Fortnite is your building bindings. Don't make an excuse for it. Don't use F1 through F4, whatever the heck. D change it. There's a few sites out there that show pro players bindings when it comes to everything. You can use those and then edit them as you see fit. Get a big shield off the bat, look around in the house real quick. If you're alone, you might just get minis and get that full shield instead. Have your pickaxe out and loot the chests with it. Just spray around it. You'll get what you need. We don't need a gray burst. Holding your nade down shows you a projectile of where it's going to land. It's like that. They're very useful. Don't ignore the bushes. Sometimes there's a default in them or just a meme star. If you're outside the circle in a near dusty devo, just jump down and get a hop rock. You can easily catch up or take a lot less damage outside the zone. If you have a med kit, pop it. Even if you're at 75, just pop it. Get it out of here. Get to that 100 HP. Double ramping is a lot safer. Let's say there's an opponent up there and you want to get up there. Simply get the second ramp out. And as you go, hold your cursor in the middle. And you'll be safer. You can do a 180 up here. Pull up around, continue building, and there you have high ground on your opponent, probably. When you go up against the minigun and the LMG, it can be a pain in the ass. The way to win is either get distance, build backwards, or wait for the situation where you feel like, alright, I can take him right here, right now. It's like that. Rebind your weapons and then keep them tight. Use the same slots every time so you don't forget, like, I have my AR-2, shotguns, 3-4, or rocket launchers, snips on X, heals on set. Sometimes players outbuild themselves or do stupid buildings like this. You can sometimes even jump down, harvest it down and make them drop to their death. These golden stacks of wood are really good, especially if you're in a city like Tilted Towers, it gives you a good amount of wood. Building ramps up a mountainside will secure your ramp. Just like this, when I'm building up, this is now safe. We can shoot the bottom, it is still standing. There can be up to two drops at one time, now they can land right next to each other too. In front of me is not always a good one. 50 north, south, whatever will help your teammates know what you're talking about. If your team does call out in front of me, quickly glaze up upon the minimap and see which direction they're pointing to. The golden scar has a sick spray. Like it's nuts. So look at that. Don't be lazy. If you're gonna build, build it safe. If you're up in a one by one, get that extra wall down. Look at this guy. Mm -mm. Mistakes were made, buddy. Scars, fire rate, and damage output allows you to burn down walls. Some of your bullets will go through and hit the enemy target. The impulse grenades can sometimes save your butt if you're outside the zone. Use them, and you can even get your teammates too, even when they're not. Editing down into an opponent's face is a very good way to practice editing. Simply like, what am I gonna do here? Do I build up? No, just edit, 
And hello. Never give up. No matter what weapons you get, if you're being a potato, whatever. Keep running. Way too often I see players just like, eh, didn't get a gun. You know what? Just kill me. I'll just dance here. Nope. Here we go. We got a pump. We can now re enter the fight and say, what up? My llama. Gimme. Thanks. Oh, wait. The shotgun sucks. Never mind. We got you. First shot accuracy is very important when you're shooting on range. Just keep waiting for that cross here to dip down into the center and then take your shots. When you get the hang of building, people tend to build a fortress as soon as they engage a fight. Sometimes just do the unexpected drop down into their face. It's like this guy, we build up a little bit, no need to go all crazy. And well, he's not going to see us coming, so might as well just do that. The piles of brick give a decent amount of brick too. I didn't know until recently. There you go. The quickest and easiest way to get high ground advantage at someone in a built fight is building out like that. And then turn around, go up again. Nice rocket. You're just jumping around, walking around, jump around, look around. See if you can spot some enemies on the go, your destination, wherever the heck that is. You might just find an easy target. Be a good teammate. If you have extra healing, share it. As well as minis, they come in threes. Share the extra one with a teammate. Rocket launch can be a fun way to send your teammates flying. Just a cross distance. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you get the hang of it, it's not that tough to do. You don't have to let go of your sprint and use key when you're running towards an apple or any usable object. Simply hold the E and sprint as you move in there and it'll pick it up. Use the environment to bounce your grenades. You can also shoot it from a one by one without being visible to enemy due to the huge drop. See here, it gives us the red cross like we're gonna hit it but we're not. We're completely invisible to the enemy and we can bounce them around like we please. You don't get any materials by hitting player structures. Not at all, not even enemy players. The pickaxe deals half the amount of damage to player built structures. You see there 50 and 100, here we got 25 and 50. However, the weapons deal the exact same amount of damage to player built structures and just normal structures. That's gonna be it for this one. I hope you found something that you could use. Took a ton of time to make this video, so I hope that you found something. Other than that, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave us up if you wanna see more. And that's it. Have a wonderful day.